If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when all of my videos are released. Videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Now let's go to the wine tasting. So how does the wine tasting work at Frogtown? So you'll receive a menu with different flight options. You will pick a flight and each flight includes three different wines. You can pick different options from red to white to sweet to dry. You will then receive your flight. The flight will have three glasses with one, two, three at the bottom, which will match to your paper describing each wine in your flight, as well as way to purchase a bottle. So let's drink up, ladies. Hey, Rashida, Teresa, and Jamila. That's beyond measure. Yes. <laughs> the first glass of wine that I'm going to try in my flight is the 2016 Penchant. Penchant is a delightful blend made from their premium estate grown grapes, having a more robust fruit and complexity than their varietal wine. Penchant, like their wine club's much beloved Audacity, delivers the cherry flavors of the grape and the raspberry cassis and plum flavors to complete the palate experience. It sells for $45.99 per bottle. The next drink in my flight is the Applause Four Standing Ovation. Applause Four Standing Ovation is a non-vintage blend of Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Tannet, and Toriga. Dark fruit aromas and taste of blackberry and cassis are bound together with a hint of vanilla and tobacco. This is a very supple wine. It is delicate yet complex and easy to drink. Non-vintage refers to a wine produced from different years. Non-vintage wines do not bear a year on their label, but are sometimes labeled first, second, third, etc., to identify the vintage, such as applause for standing ovation, meaning this is the fourth time they have produced this wine, and it is valued at $29.99 per bottle. And just to note, as we look at the entire structure here inside, which is gorgeous, my flight tasting was $26 to taste all three wines. I'm giving you a price of each wine as if you were to buy the bottle, but I wanted to let you know that information about the flight pricing. Now to eat. That's Yeah, they should have given you a After that delicious and fabulous pizza, I'm on to my third and final drink in my flight, which is the 2016 Priority. The 2016 Priority is the second bottling of a Priority labeled wine. This blend of Priority consists of 60% of Nebbiolo, 25% of Cabernet Sauvignon, and 15% of Terraldego. The wine screams of Nebbiolo. The Cabernet Sauvignon and Teraldogo are along for the ride to give subtle texture and color to this wine. This wine prices at $51.99 per bottle, and this was my favorite. 
And now on to the outdoors to see their patio. It was pouring down rain this day, so we couldn't get like a full view of the outside, but here is a little taste of what it looks like outdoors. All this water. Oh, what this car doing? See this dip here? It's dangerous. You cannot see it when you circle back around. And if your car sits low like mine, it is terrible. But also to note, you can park up in this area. We weren't too sure about parking along the side, but you can. So keep that in mind because parking down this hill is a whole tragedy. <laughs> Back down the hill. <laughs> kind of I know I'm not. This hill, this is actually quite, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These shoes are not the best to be walking down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we coming? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And there goes my car. It was the only place on the hill that didn't have a massive dip. As you can see right here, there is a massive dip to get out of the grass. And as you can see, my car sits low. So keep that in mind about the parking at Frogtown Winery. Hey Explorers, I hope you enjoyed Frogtown Vineyards in Delanago, Georgia. I really did, the wine was great and the pizza was really good. It was about an hour and a half drive from my home and I live on the west side of Atlanta. It was, it said the other day it would be a little bit shorter, like hour 15, but it was raining today, literally until we pulled back in my driveway at my home from coming back from the vineyards, of course. But it would be really nice to go out there if it was sunny to just sit out on the patio and overlook the yard of the vineyards, which were really, would be really great. Also, they do have winery tours, but I think they may be paused right now due to the pandemic, but I will leave the link down below in the description box so you can check that out for yourself. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Yes. And also leave any questions you have down below in the comment box and I'll be glad to answer them. And please make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and your social media networks. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are.